Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and welcome back to another Number Tycoon 2 video. So, um, they arrived today, <clears throat> and I'm, I've been talking about it all, all day long. Um, my 500 Magic the Gathering cards for $18 from Wish. Oh my gosh! Okay, so... I, I, I just want to say, I played Magic the Gathering back in like 1995, 1996, like the way long time ago. Like Pogs, if you remember Pogs, those were, were big. Anyhow, I'm super excited, like, <clears throat> and I forgot how addicted I was to the game and to the cards and to the everything, like just the whole thing. I found an app that actually scans the cards, tells you what edition they are, it matches it all up, and, and it goes really fast. Like, you can take the cards, just lay them all out, and just go, bing, 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 and, like, it builds the database of cards that you have in your collection, which is wonderful, because I've got 500, and I do not want to type all those out. Just saying. Anyhow, if you don't know what Magic the Gathering is, it's kind of like Pokemon, like cards and stuff, but you, you, have, um, you have swamps, um, mountains, uh, plains, ocean, water, and something else. Was that it? Forest. Anyhow, you have to play a land before you can uh, summon the power from that land, the mana, to cast a, a spell or to summon a creature card or, or to cause an instance, whatever the case may be. Anyhow, it's it's like a, a, a battle of two wizards um, who are summoning energy from the lands around them uh, to summon these spells and cast these things, and it's any it's it's fun. It's so fun. I mean, wow, like I am just awestruck right now at like the coolness that is there, and it's so nerd. <laughs> I think I'm going to try and do a background wall once once I get a new uh, the new um, studio. I, I think I'm going to do a background wall and put up all my nerd Magic the Gathering stuff in the background. So, uh, anyhow, I don't think my kids are too interested in it, but that's fine. Uh, they, they have their own interests and stuff like that, but we um, originally got two, no, we got three of the decks from um, New Mexico. And there was this little place that we went and, and got these um, starter decks. Wait, uh, little, big, does that look right? That doesn't look right, does it? Yeah, it's, it's fine, it'll be fine. Anyhow, these, uh, starter decks, they were, um, given to us by the owner of that little shop down there and while we were on vacation and the starter deck then the 2017 starter decks they were a promotional thing from um, magic or Wizards of the Coast magic the gathering stuff like that and my kids loved it so I thought you know I haven't owned um, a set of those in so long I might as well Come on. I might, might as well give it a try and just see. I, I'll tell you what, I was not disappointed. That was an awesome surprise today to, to get all those and see all the different cars that they had. That's backwards. Dang it. Come here, you. Destroyed. I guess it's not really going to matter because I, I went crisscross applesauce up here. Like these are facing that direction, these are facing that direction. So I'm going to have to have one in the middle right here at the back that's going to be <coughs> corrugated co in the opposite directions of the corrugation of the wall. <coughs> Whatever. Um, so let's put big end backwards. Like, like so, maybe. Boop, like that. One, two, three. And then we'll do rotate, rotate. One, two. Oh, is, is it going to fit? Oh wow, just perfect. Now that's that's kind of cool. Anyhow, I figured what we do for lumber today is just just kind of chill and and build a little bit. You know, just trying to 
make the house spruced up a little bit. Maybe throw some uh, some things onto it, you know. Maybe put some furniture in it. Go buy a buy a kitchen or something, you know. Do do a little bit of design work, you know. The, this old house, this this log house, you know, with uh, Bob v Vila. Dude, is Bob Vila still a thing? Is he alive? I don't even know. Hey Google, is Bob Vila still alive? Oh, uh, okay, Google. Is Bob Villa still alive? According to Wikipedia, Robert Joseph Villa is an American home improvement television show host known for this old house. Bob Villa's home again, and Bob Villa. Uh. Well, it doesn't say that he's passed away. Let's see if there's a, a, a date. Thank you, Wikipedia. Yeah, he's still alive. He's living down in uh, Miami, Florida. 74 years old. He was born in 1946. Anyhow, that's uh, that's who I remember doing the home improvements stuff. Unless it was like Tim Allen. And then it was literally called Home Improvement. That was an old show. Oh, man. With Tim Allen? Was it Tim Allen? Tim Allen? Is that who, uh, who played? Man! Talk about going back to the 1995. <clears throat> By the way, for those of you that didn't know, I was born in 1981. Um, yes, I was a child of the 80s, but no, I don't remember much of the 80s. I mean, I was I was nine, up until the age of nine. So little things like Super Nintendo, Nintendo 64, stuff like that. Those I remember. I remember talking about the. Uh, the idea of the Ultra 64 coming out. Before it was called the Nintendo 64. Oh man. I'm feeling very nostalgic right now. Like uh, a lot of the viewers that come back to my channel are like, oh my god, you were my childhood. <clears throat> I'm like, dude, I've only been around like what, six years? So that's that's cool. I mean, I hope that I could be a part of your childhood and, and you know, f help influence you and entertain you and just be around to, to let you know, you know, to, to say something fun and educational while playing video games and having fun. You know, that's, that's what I feel like it's all about. Just having fun. Uh, even my dad, my dad watches, watches my videos, which I think is very cool. Okay. Thanks dad. And by the way, if you see him down in the comment section, his name's Dwayne Haskins. Give him like a lot of likes and a lot of follows and stuff. And that you don't have to just you know make make him feel good, like hey dad, how are you? Hi daddy. My dad. Um, I guess I don't really need a work light in here. What I need is some furniture, and maybe maybe a, a staircase. Where where would we put a staircase? Let's see. If I if I were to walk into my house, what would I want right here? I'd I'd want a kitchen. I would say right here and then to the left I, I would put maybe a television I mean, then the bed I would put the bed right right back here and we'll make like a you know what we don't need a staircase we can do uh, we can do a ladder we can do ladder up to the second floor so we'll, we'll do we'll do two floors I think but first let's go oh no it's nighttime we can't we can't go and, and buy uh, furniture dang it well, uh, should we go ahead and put the floor in like this? Is that is that too? That looks short, doesn't it? Um, don't like that. Okay, let's go ahead and move this upward. It still, just doesn't feel right. Feels feels small. All right, let's just. Try that. Um, what about what if? Oh, wait a second. What if we did? Uh, what if we did one of those like uh, colonial overhang thingies, where, like, this is cool, but if we extend the floor out like this, you know, like where the floor hangs over, 
and then the, the second floor is actually bigger than the first floor. Yeah, I think we're going to do that. That sounds like a plan. That sounds fun. So let's just go off this corner over here. Can we make it so nice like that? <clears throat> that's gonna be, that's gonna be big though. Um, maybe we should bring it back in a little bit. No, 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 no. This is this is perfect because what we want is right here, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. This is gonna make it look like the. Uh, whoops. I completely missed that up. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Man, that just that fit perfect. Good deal. <coughs> um this floor matches up with the uh the bottom floor that's below us. The actual like foundation that we're on. I really like his movement system, the building system that Defaultia created. I wonder if these are going to be facing all the same direction. Alright, we can destroy this one. <coughs> oh, did I move it? Oh, sweet. Sweet. No need to destroy. Recycle, reduce, reuse. That looks a little ridiculous. We're probably not gonna need that much room. Just for just for hanging out. You know what? It'll it'll be fun. We'll have some fun. Ooh. One more. One more. Kinda overhangs the, the end though, doesn't it? That's fine. All right, and then we should be able to do this. Am I gonna fill all these in tonight? Probably not. In fact, uh, I, I don't wanna fill in at least one of them because that's going to be where we want to put the, uh, the ladder or the stairs. We might come back to the stairs idea. In fact, that would look kinda cool, like hanging, hanging out here to the side, stairway walking upward or something, you know? Like it juts out a little bit. Just a thought. Uh, do we want to make that cherry as well? No, we we want to match this wood here. What is what is it? This is cherry. What was this? Was this like a was this oak? Was this koa? I think I think that's walnut. That that could be walnut. Let's go get some walnut wood uh, so we can fill in the the next floor because I don't think I've got any here. Ooh, we should have made it all marble. <laughs> that'd, that'd be a horrible thing to fill because marble would take forever to, to build up. <coughs> oh, excuse me. <laughs> Anyhow, what was I saying? Magic the Gathering, 1995. I was going through some of my cards and I didn't realize that uh, some of them don't have the little mark on them where it says what edition they are. Like, um, there's certain version cards that have a snowflake, and I know that that's from the Ice Age series, right? And the Ice Age series were really cool looking back in the day that, like, that was the new edition that came out whenever I was buying the packs. Uh, the Dark, those were pretty big. Um, anyhow, 4th edition, 5th edition didn't have any kind of markings on them. And any edition before then, like, if they didn't have edition marks on them, they were from... 5th edition or back, printed before 1997. <laughs> so, if you have one that has a copyright of 1995, ugh, then it was a 5th edition, or a 4th edition card. If it had 1997, it was a 5th edition card. And the only way you could tell the difference between them, like the different editions of those editions was by the way they were printed. So unless you're like a Magic the Gathering card expert, which I'm not, then you can't really determine what the value of the card is. So that's that's kind of scary that you don't, don't know it. And <clears throat> I'll say this, in the end, 
I really don't care what happens to the cards. It's for my kids, it's for having fun, and I just find it fascinating that there's so much value put on some of these cards, you know? Um, one of the cards that I have, it's called Tranquility... No, what is, what is it called? Uh, Mobilize. Mobilize, and it's from the Portal, uh, Portals edition. $46 for a single card. 46 bucks. Are you kidding me? Really? Now, I, I know that I'm never going to find somebody to actually purchase that card for $46, but there's like two two cards out there on eBay. They're pr priced at like $47, $49. That is nuts! Really? It just makes me wonder, like, how many people have fortunes sitting in their closet not knowing what they are? And if you happen to have, like, McDonald's toys, not the, not the cheap new stuff that they've been doing, but then again, the cheap new stuff that they've been doing is probably going to be very valuable once you turn 34, 35, 36 years old. You know? The stuff that you're playing with right now, whatever your toys are, those are going to be valuable when you grow up. And I, I never knew, you know? I just wanted to play with the toys. Who could imagine that pogs actually have values? <laughs> really? Pogs are valuable? Uh, <clears throat> kind of makes me sad that I've donated and thrown away and trashed so much stuff in my life. But at the same time, I don't need to be a hoarder. I don't need to, to keep all this stuff around anymore, you know? I don't know. There's, there's a point that I got to where I'm looking around the garage going, why am I keeping some of this stuff? You know, I just got rid of a ton of a computer equipment. I know Fezzik was, was a little upset. He's like, really? I'm like, yeah. I had, what, seven servers, 12 laptops, 13 computers, all parts and pieces. Like some of them worked, some of them didn't work. But I'm sitting here thinking, why in the world do I need to keep around my times eight CD-ROM non-burning, non-DVD like player? Why? Why is that even here? You know what? Take it to the recycling center, get uh, get a receipt for it, and just in case. But as far as I'm concerned, it doesn't have any value anymore. I'm never going to use it and it's never going to get put back into a machine. So why did I hold on to it for so long? You know? Just why? Anyhow. That's the point I, I'm trying to make is some stuff is crazy valuable, but you don't know that it's crazy valuable unless you actually do the research and, and check stuff out, you know? And that you don't have to. Just, you can get rid of it too. That's why I kind of started getting distracted by the values of the cards. And I finally, I, like my wife, she goes, well, you should get some sleeves and put them in the, the sleeves. I thought about it. I'm like, I could. I could put these into sleeves and make some money off of them. And then I thought to myself, why? Why would I go through the hassle of trying to do that? You know? Dude, wait, is this... This is only the Solmax 1. This isn't even the big Solmax. What are we doing? Do I have enough to, to buy a big Solmax? I got 25,000. I don't know if that's enough. Mm. You know what? We don't need it. We can do... We can do this thing. Move. Bring it down. B. Move. B. There it goes. Yay. Come on out, buddy. Come on out. There you go. Good deal.
I could have sworn I heard like a, a wolf. <laughs> Maybe it's a coyote or something. I don't know. <coughs> Anyhow. It's kind of amazing that uh, I haven't seen any kind of... Like, I've seen Pokemon games inside Roblox, but I've not seen any kind of, like, Magic the Gathering games. That could be an avenue to take, you know? Something inventive. Uh, a new style of game. I don't know how you do it, though. Oop. That, ah, that worked. Should I have done this uh, on the... On the ground first. Probably. How far along are we? We're at 20. We got nine minutes left. <clears throat> Which is plenty plenty of time to talk about things. You know? I got made fun of as a kid. I, I know the struggles that you guys go through. Being nerds. Being geeks. Being the odd kid. The weird kid. I kind of um, made friends and, and hung out with pretty much everyone. And my skater friends were more high school time frame. Boy Scouts. Boy Scouts was a big one. Cub Scouts. Um, I did play, I played football for a little while in like eighth grade and freshman year, but then I dropped it to. Uh, Continue karate, taekwondo, and Votech. Like I, I just didn't have time for for football anymore. Which don't get me wrong, I, I enjoyed the fact that I did it, but yeah, I don't enjoy hitting people, and I'm a big guy. For those of you that didn't know, I am six two, uh, two hundred and thirty five pounds so whenever I came running at you I, I, like I, I wasn't that big back then I was probably 190 maybe 200 no 190 I'd say 190 because I was uh, 205 out the Marine Corps so by the way I don't, I don't know if you guys have have been noticing or if you've even seen it but my chin my double chin it's it's starting to recede it's starting to go away because of the keto diet I'm very proud of that I'm so proud of myself of switching up the diet and just having fun and, and eating all the fatty foods that I like now I'm I am worried about the cholesterol level like uh, the amount of cholesterol that I'm taking into my body but at the same time Everything that I was taught about health and health class and being healthy, keto just blows that out of the water. They tell you, oh, you need to have balance in your diet. Well, kind of. If you completely cut out all breads and starches and, and stuff like that, it's amazing what the body will do to uh, to survive and to actually better your, your system, you know? With the ketones and the liver producing the, the ketosis state well I guess ketones is ketosis ketosis is the production of ketones from the liver so and that's because your your glucose is all gone you've got no glutens left which I'm fine with I don't I don't need glutens <clears throat> but it really is it's amazing what the body can do it's amazing how fragile yet resilient we are as human beings um, I always take for granted how keyboards and mice work because growing up in high school I had a buddy and in fact it was the buddy that I went to the Marine Corps with um, we went in on the buddy system we, uh, he had a brother, his name's Keith, and Keith uh, was a paraplegic. He, he was wheelchair bound, um, disability in, in both hands, both legs, both feet, both arms. And 
I remember watching him play video games. I remember playing Nintendo 64 Goldeneye with him. And he could kick my butt. But I, I just find it amazing that we take for granted every single day how gaming itself works. And I think the whole reason that this is being brought up is because I saw an article or saw a video the other day where it was um, next gen, next level. It was a little device that hooks onto the back of the hat or back, back of the VR gear and it integrates your brain signals into computer signals. Simple, simple stuff. But I mean, it's here. Like the idea that we are going to, I may see in my lifetime, a human brain interface for a computer. And trust me, if they get to the level where you can plug your brain in and interface directly with a computer, you know I'm gonna be the first one jumping in that. <laughs> I, I will jump at the chance, yes, let's do it. Let's integrate into the brain, please. And that, that's scary for a lot of people, all right? And I understand. I understand you, you got some concerns. I would have some concerns too, it, especially with the idea that you could hack somebody's brain because I mean, that's what you would essentially be doing is you'd be opening access into somebody's brain. I don't know if you'd have read-write access. Maybe it's read-only. Maybe not even read. Maybe the access is output-only so that you can output to a computer, but that's it. But at the same time, wouldn't that be amazing? Like, Matrix-style stuff. Or Johnny Mnemonic stuff. I'm seriously surprised at the, the level we've gotten to. Sci-fi becoming reality. And I think the world is moving in the right direction. And I can't wait to see what happens next. So with that, I'm going to leave you guys to it, to imagine and to build uh, powering imagination with Roblox. Uh, let this video reach two to 25,000 views. Let's, let's get to, let's get to 50,000 likes. Okay. If this, if this video ever reaches 50,000 likes, it's never going to reach 50,000. likes. If this video reaches 50,000 likes, I will shave my head. I will literally grab a razor and shave it for you on screen. 50,000 likes. Can't be done. It's not going to happen. But I, I, I'll put it out there. 50,000 likes for the video. Yeah. 132,000 subscribers. You, pro you probably could do that. Um, I know that 80% of you aren't even subscribed. You're just watching the channel for some reason. That's, that's fine too. I mean, you can, you can watch and subscribe or not subscribe. As long as you're watching, I guess, I guess it really doesn't matter. I just burped. That's fine too. Thank you everyone for watching this episode of Lumber Tycoon 2 with me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out at the end of the videos, but it's your choice. If you want to, go for it. If not, that's cool too. You were here, you watched, you had fun. Love you guys for that. Have a great night. We'll talk to you soon. Outro. Want some new merch? Check out teespring.com. Outro.